Brought to you by wikivd.com Enzo Amor Eric Hunt is an American professional wrestler currently signed to WWE, where he performs on the Raw brand in the cruiserweight division under the ring name Enzo Amor, where he is a former cruiserweight champion. Personal Life Hunt was born in Hackensack, New Jersey, but grew up in Waldwick, New Jersey. There. He attended Julia A. Trafagen School and Crescent School and Waldwick High School, where he also played football. Arndt continued his football career at Division III Salisbury University playing linebacker and safety for the Seagulls. From 2007-2009, Arndt ultimately earned a degree in journalism. He formerly worked as a disc jockey and ticket salesman for the New York Jets, a piano mover, and a manager at Hooters. NXT 2012-2016 Arndt had no prior wrestling experience before WWE signed him. He had trained with Joe DeFranco at the DeFranco's training systems gym in Wyckoff, New Jersey since the age of 16. By chance, WWE executive Triple H also started training with DeFranco. Aunt, a lifelong fan of professional wrestling, made a compilation video of himself doing various exercises and cutting a promo. When DeFranco showed the video to Triple H, Aunt was given a tryout at WWE, ultimately resulting in his signing. In August 2012, WWE signed Aunt who then started using the ring name Eric Cantony. In November 2012, he was given the ring name of Enzo Amor, when he debuted in WWE's developmental system NXT as a wrestler. Amor debuted on NXT television as a heel being described as a stereotypical cocky. Jersey Shaw loudmouth and an outsized version of the man playing the part on May 22, 2013 where he was squashed by Mason Ryan. Amor went on to form an alliance with Colin Cassidy, who had also previously lost to Ryan and they named themselves the realist guys in the room. In real life Arndt first met Bill Morrissey when Morrissey was 15, when they played basketball together at the Cage of Manhattan, New York nearly 10 years before reuniting on NXT in August 2013. Despite Amor and Cassidy's alliance Ryan easily defeated them in consecutive singles matches in July but lost to them in a handicap match. Ryan won up to the two when he caused Amor and Cassidy to be attacked by tons of funk. After the feud with Ryan Amor and Cassidy went on to feud with Alexander Rusev, Sylvester Lefort and Scott Dawson turning face. On the September 25th episode of NXT, Amor and Cassidy participated in a gauntlet match. For a future shot at the NXT Tag Team Championship, they started the match. First defeating CJ Parker and Tyler Breeze, then defeating Rusev and Dawson, but lost to the Ascension. In November 2013, Amor suffered a broken leg while training. Amor returned on June 26, 2014 episode of NXT saving Cassidy from an attack from Sylvester Lefort and Marcus Lewis. In early August Amor and Cassidy participated in the NXT Tag Team Championship tournament. They defeated Jason Jordan and Ty Dillinger in the first round but were eliminated by the Vaudevillains in the second round. Lefort and Lewis then renewed their rivalry with Amor and Cassidy by attacking them and shaving Amor's beard. As a result Amor challenged Lefort to a match with a loser's hair as forfeit at NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way which Amor won. But Lefort ran away leaving his partner Lewis to lose his hair and eyebrows. Amor and Cassidy formed an alliance with the debuting Carmella. The duo had accidentally cost Carmella her hairdressing job causing her to demand to get a job as a wrestler. Carmella had her televised in-ring debut on the October 16, 2014 episode of NXT.
Among the trainers at NXT a more singled out Builder Mott and Dusty Rhodes as being instrumental in his training and promos respectively. On the March 11, 2015 episode of NXT Amor and Cassidy defeated the Lucha Dragons in a contenders match for the NXT Tag Team Championship. At NXT TakeOver, Unstoppable Amor and Cassidy faced Blake and Murphy for the title in a losing effort after interference by Alexa Bliss. In December, Amor and Cassidy began a feud with Dash and Dawson where they challenged them for the NXT Tag Team Championship at both NXT TakeOver, London and Roadblock unsuccessfully. On March 24, 2016 Apollo Crews Enzo and Cass defeated NXT Champions The Revival and Baron Corbin. Raw Tag Team Championship Pursued 2016-2017 on the Raw after WrestleMania 32 Amor and Cassidy debuted on the main roster and confronted the Dudley Boys. A week later on SmackDown Amor and Cassidy defeated The Ascension in a tournament to determine the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championship. The team went on to defeat the Dudley Boys on the following week's Raw in the semi-final of the Tag Team Tournament advancing them to the finals. In the finals Enzo and Cass faced the Vaudevillains at payback, with the match ending in a no contest after Amor suffered a legitimate concussion. During the match, at Money in the Bank Enzo and Cass faced the New Day the Vaudevillains, and Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson Indiana a fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championship in which the New Day retained their titles. On the July 4 episode of Raw, Enzo and Cass helped John Cena who was getting attacked by the club, involving themselves in the feud between Cena and the club. At Battleground Enzo and Cass teamed with Cena to defeat the club in a six-man tag team match. In the 2016 WWE Draft Enzo and Cass were drafted to Raw. Following Battleground Enzo and Cass proceeded to feud with Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho which culminated at SummerSlam where the two lost to Jericho and Owens. On the November 7 episode of Raw Enzo and Cass joined Team Raw for the 10 on 10 Survivor Series Tag Team Elimination match at Survivor Series, during which Team Raw defeated Team SmackDown. On the November 21st episode of Raw, after Amor was locked out of the locker room naked by Cass as a practical joke, and ran into Lana in the hallway Rusev challenged Amor to a match later that night, in which Amor was quickly defeated. The following week on Raw Amor defeated Rusev by disqualification. On the December 5th episode of Raw after Amor stood up, for Lana after seeing her and Rusev argue backstage Lana invited Amor to her hotel room. Later that night this was revealed to be trap when Rusev attacked Amor in the hotel room. Over the following weeks Enzo and Cass feuded with Rusev and Jinder Mahal. Amor participated in the 2017 Royal Rumble match entering at number 27, but was immediately eliminated by Brock Lesnar. Amor and Cass competed in a fatal four-way ladder match at WrestleMania 33 for the Raw Tag Team Championship against defending champions Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, Sheamus and Cesaro and the returning Hardy Boys where the Hardys emerged victorious. The following night on Raw Amor and Cass were defeated by Cesaro and Sheamus in a tag team match to determine it the contenders for the Raw Tag Team Championship. On the April 17 episode of Raw, Amor and Cass were defeated by Anderson and Gallows. Throughout May, Enzo was repeatedly knocked out from behind by an unknown attacker. Big Cass went on to accuse the revival who had been seen in the background in the aftermath of the attacks. The following week on the June 5 episode of Raw, Cass was found knocked out backstage in the same fashion as Enzo was. 
Later, Cass claimed he was not cleared to wrestle so Amor teamed with Big Show in a match against Gallows and Anderson which they won. The following week, Cass was again found knocked out backstage. He claimed the attacker had to have had a giant fist and blamed Big Show who denied having been the attacker. On the June 19 episode of Raw, General Manager Kurt Angle attempted to expose the attacker before security footage found by Corey Graves revealed that Cass had faked his own attack in order to lure away suspicion. Cass admitted to this, expressing his frustration during his time teaming with Enzo. Cass then attacked Enzo thus turning Cass heel and disbanding the team. On the June 26 Raw, an emotional Enzo called out Cass to the ring and the two seemingly reconciled, however, Cass again viciously attacked Enzo on the stage cementing his heel turn. At the inaugural Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view Enzo lost to Cass. At SummerSlam, Cass defeated Big Show while Enzo was suspended above the ring inside the shark cage. During the match, Enzo escaped from the shark cage but was quickly attacked by Cass. The next night on Raw, Enzo challenged Cass to a Brooklyn Street fight, which he won after the referee stopped the match after Cass suffered a legitimate knee injury. Cruiserweight Champion 2017 Present On the August 22 episode of 205 Live, Amor made his debut in the Cruiserweight division, confronting Cruiserweight Champion Neville, beginning a feud with him in the process. On August 28th episode of Raw, Amor scored his first victory in the cruiserweight division against Noam Dar. The following day on 205 Live Amor teamed with Cedric Alexander and Grand Metallic to defeat the team of Dar Tony Nice and Drew Gulak. On September 5th, Amor earned a title opportunity against Neville for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. At No Mercy winning a fatal five-way elimination match also involving Alexander the Brian Kendrick, Metallic and Nice. At No Mercy Amor defeated Neville with a low blow showing signs of a heel turn to win the Cruiserweight Championship claiming his first title win within the WWE. The following night on Raw Amor convinced Raw general manager Kurt Angle to close the show with a championship celebration. During the segment Amor, who was still cheered by the audience, continued to signal a heel turn by insulting the cruiserweight division and stating that, since debuting in 205 Live he made the show relevant and claimed that the 205 Live roster was jealous of his accomplishments. He also showed a signed clause by Kurt Angle that if any cruiserweight touched him they will lose their title opportunities. After Raw stopped airing the cruiserweight division collectively attacked him. The next night on 205 Live Amore opened the show on crutches with a heel promo continuing to say that he is the reason the cruiserweight division is relevant. After Neville's match against Aria Diveri Amore assaulted him with a crutch completing a double turn between the Moore and Neville turning a more heel for the first time. Since his NXT debut, the week after on Raw, a Moore revealed another paper clause stating that any cruiserweight that tries to touch him will be fired. Subsequently, Callisto was introduced as the newest member of the cruiserweight division and attacked him more. On the October 9th episode of Raw, a Moore lost the cruiserweight championship to Callisto in a lumberjack match ending his reign at 15 days. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?